Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for an Everdell video. Now if you haven't already noticed today, there's been an update. And I like updates, especially within Everdell. Now this is going to be number three, so let's go and have a look at the information. We slide on over to the mail, we click on the mail and it says Everdell update number three. Yeah. We click on it and it says, Villagers, a new Everdell update is here. And it's packed with what you've been asking for. Yeah, I like that. In this case, boatloads of new content, new events, and chocolate. Now, I love chocolate, especially Kit Kats. So I don't think there'll be Kit Kats in the game, but maybe there will be some other kind of chocolate. Now, those of you who know, I do play Hayday as well. So crops are always going to be good for me. And because this is a village, growing crops is definitely something I want to see. Now, new features. We've got an 11th villager. Oh my god, and I don't even have the 10th one yet. We need to learn animal handling at a brand new guild. Okay, so I'm already a farmer, so what else do I need to know about handling animals? Maybe I need to teach them to come and... Uh, I don't know. So, what else can I teach my animals to do? So, come here, boy. Sit down. Put the kettle on. Make a cup of tea. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's find out what it will teach me. It says down here, boost the valley wolfish and silk cocoon. Silk cocoon. <gasps> oh, I like the look of that. Production with animal handling skills. Okay. So, I can boost my wool fishing and silk cocoon production. Now, silk cocoons, no. Wool and fishing. Okay, I could improve my skills there. Say ahoy to the new trading partners for the Prairie Plains. I'm still struggling to get my green trade up, let alone another one. Need more team members in my team. We really, really do. We've got a shipload of brand new resources, including the ever-popular cacao. Okay, so that's where my chocolate comes from. Same moo to your new cow. Oh, yes. I said moo. Let's see if she answers me back. Okay, I got one. Right, a village chocolate maker for refining cacao. We can make delectable sweets at the Valley Candy Shop. Oh, I love candy. Oh, I love candy. Hopefully, you got some jelly beans as well. I like jelly beans. That'll be very nice indeed. So, we can manufacture spool, silk spools with the village spool maker and a silk cloth with the silk weaver. Okay, that sounds good. New bakery products include the chocolate lava cake. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Wonderful. I love watching MasterChef and they had this gorgeous chocolate lava cake on that one. And my local muffin shop does a chocolate lava muffin, which is to die for. Actually, I won't die for it, but I definitely do enjoy eating it, especially when it's hot. New preserve, preservery products, including stinky cheese. Now that I could go for. Absolutely. I love my cheese and smelly is good. Good. New products at the tailors now in silk. Okay. Toy Works has got some new hotness. Say hello to Wind Up Winston. Oh, I like the sound of that one. Potions for building. Yes. Okay. And animal handling. With the building definitely need. Oh my God. That's that's one I absolutely want. New levels of the whole host of buildings, including the village study. And I've noticed as well from looking at my village, the designs have changed again, which makes it even better. A bunch of new events, including all new mini events, building intro events, monument events, and spirit events. Okay. Refresh the shop if you'd like to purchase something different. I saw that one earlier. Balance changes. Okay. Rework late game valley st village study and grand library levels by expanding match levels to fit new content. Okay. That's good. More event tokens in Reputation Road. Yes, I saw that one too. And I've already collected some of the things from that one. In addition to faster event token recovery. Yes, building costs have been rebalanced in both the village and the valley. Iceberg Owls perk boost. Okay, we've got some polished artwork. Like I said, it's been improved. There's updated music. Oh, I haven't listened to the old music. New user interface elements, improvements all around. And you smashed a ton of bugs. No, the insects. Oh my God. Actually, bugs been broken are good i like that one and as usual with our feedback so please continue with our social media platforms and see you all in the valley well there's a video but i'll watch that one later 
let's go have a look first so we head on over to this gorgeous library click on that one and we slide on back as far as I can go and see what else has been added so number one number two is good number three is fine number four is perfect number five is done number six is no change number seven is a little different one though we still need that trade partner 3000 and then we can finally get back to that point there and I need this one for my actual library so yes right, over here as well I'll come back on that one again all right, go back, go back, go back, go back. We were up to number seven. Okay, number eight, we need a new trade partner knowledge on that one. And then that would allow us to unlock these new builds as well. So we better get on to that one. Upgrade your Grand Library to discover Prairie Plains. Beat their introduction event to unlock them as a partner and trade with their ships to unlock this research. Okay, we go do that one soon. There's that green one over there again before we can access the new silk cocoons. Oh no, yes. Yeah, over here we've got more trade partner knowledge with the prairie pranes before we can get some of the others. There's the dairy down there. So according to this we've got a animal handlers guild down there. We've got a dairy which looks brand new as well. I like the look of that. Look at the graphics on this. It looks good, doesn't it? I like that. Oh my god. And then when we get over here, you can see more features have been added. Look at that. Craft a sweet and scrumptious candy shop. So we need to finish this one first. Then we'll start doing the candy shop, I think. Hmm. And level 11, we've not even got to yet. So I wonder where the new guild's going to go. Maybe over here. Or maybe up on the hillside. Down here, I noticed we got that brand new Captain Erin, which is the uh, new uh, training partner. So we're going to accept that one. It's encourage your dog Beardy to meet our dog Sousa and sure they get along great. But remember, if they don't, in of their species, no pressure. Oh, I like pressure. So what have we got to do down here? Well, we've got to start sending our people to this one. So I'll go send this one over there straight away. We've got a, a day's weeding task down there. So there's a level seven. We can send that one on. Let's go. And what else have we got down there? There's an axe choppity one down there. So I'll do that one as well. We'll send that on its way. Get that one going. Right, let's see, we've got another day one down there for chopping down pieces, so there's a level 2 on the go there, I'll send that one. Right, what else, we've got a pickaxe one down there for 20 odd hours, so there's a level 5 on that one, there we go. And I think that's enough for the moment, just to be on the safe side. Now there's a hammer building one there, so let's have a look. Level 6 hammer, there we go. And I've just sent a load of people there, so we've got to get to this one to complete and acquire the trade relationship, so no problems. 29 minutes to the next token, we can do this, I like that. So not a problem at all. Right, now we've started as it says down there, and I've started to vote as well because one of my colleagues would like to be an elder, so I've said let's do that. Right, up here I noticed another one as well, which is the Francis Library needs to maintain lookout for the Grand Monument, so there's no limit on that one, so we can accept that one as well. And we can start this one off. And as you can see, there's a lot of resources needed on this one, which does look good. So, and look at the color animation on the figurine there. They've updated that as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, now we are going to need a lot more metals if we want to do things in the blacksmith. So I don't have any of the resources for this one. So I'm going to change one of the boats down there now. So we come down to the boat at the moment. Glimmering Dows is 16 minutes to the next ship, or we can change it for one of the others. So let's have a look. All right, rewards, rewards, rewards. We need the iceberg. So I think we need to change for the iceberg down here, which would give us more ore. So I think that would be the best option. So we change that one for the iceberg isles. And that will then come in 16 minutes and then we get the metal that we need to upgrade so let's um, tell I've changed one of the boats so we can get metal uh, we need it for the new uh, event there we go. 
Perfect. Right, what else is visually different down here? So we've still got spaces if people want to join us, by the way. So there's a couple of spaces down there. Yeah, right. Potions. I said there's brand new potions down there. So I've got to find the builder's mixture and research those ones. Animal handing, got to research those ones too. And as you can see, I've got all of these down there, which I still need to upgrade as well and research those. The rest of them I've got, there's a few that I'm still missing. It's visual designs. I like the look of this. Very nice indeed down in the preserve you'll see I've got the yogurt down there now as well and then there's a mystery one which I still don't know yet so that's going to be cool let's get some eggs on the go for the moment over here we've got uh, within the tailor itself there's the silk scarf and there is the silk tie I need to research those ones as well so this is gonna be fun I like the look of this yes indeed <laughs> Okay, and information on that one. No, we've already done those. All right, let's go and have a look at my changes. Now, visual-wise, I love the soup on the machine there. Everything is going the direction I do like with the animation. Uh, the actual graphics itself look really, really cool. I love this box style effect. I love the coloration of the machines. Uh, the beautiful mine down there is definitely a lot better. Uh, really does look good. Uh, from looking at the actual pieces earlier, they've changed the color on this, which is very good indeed, and I like the look of that one. Uh, my houses have changed with their design as well, which is very nice. Come on, I've got to get balloons there. I can't get it. Yeah, it's always annoying trying to get that. There we go. Got my gift. Thank you, PD Farms. I love the study design. That is very nice indeed. So let's go have a look inside, see what I need to do. Right, sliding back down, you can see I've still got a lot of work to catch up on. And there's a lot of things I need to start expanding on or redoing. So if we work our way through, everything up to level four is good. Level five is okay as well. Level six, we've got a brand new one down there, which is the builder's mixture. So I should start that one. Um, in fact, let me start the research down there. Change the research on that one. Let's just bring Albert in for the moment. There we go. He can start doing some bits and bobs. Don't have any potion, but it's all fine. Let's just get that one going. If we look down there, you can see there's more work to be done as well. If I can progress back along here, so I've got to get this one done first. That will then kill off that channel just there, which will make it much better for me. And then basically that's all done and dusted. So it's just that one path to complete. If I move to the next set of path sequences as I slide along, 8 is good. There's another one over there which still has to be unlocked, uh, but I've got to do the other one first of all, and that requires a building-based activity. Mm, this is going to be good fun, I think. Yes, indeed. So, sliding back along again, what else is there that's new on this? If we keep going, keep going, keep going, next threshold, there we go, still got this one to do. There's that beautiful paw print for animal handling skills, we need to get to there as well. We've got the, um, the actual dairy at level 11 to unlock as well. This is the one that's been holding me up, the part of the knowledge, so I had to put that one to the side for the moment, and it stopped me from progressing along where I was, so I couldn't get that build up, which was a shame. Okay, we got more upgrades, which I have been working on. There's a whole new load of new features here. Oh, churn fatty butter. Oh, they look good. I like that. Oh my god, so many new products. There's all of these here that I haven't even got to yet. Brand new levels have been added. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice indeed. The visualization for the scrolls is different as well. I like this. I do. I really do. As a third update, I'm very happy indeed. So we go take those. Look at that beautiful scroll down there. Gorgeous, isn't it? So very nice indeed. Right, now, there's more inf information down there, which I'll go to in a moment. So I'll go and check that out. Now, I've got somebody doing apples down there. So I've got uh, 119 apples in stock at the moment. 
my house designs have changed by the way so look at the actual imagery on that very nice indeed and there's actually some new designs as well so if I come on down to the moon gate which I've got this one here what I can do is update it with a brand new design so there's a couple of other pieces that have been added which I'm going to show you in a moment so new themes however I don't think I have enough gems to do that so we get to that soon as well Oh, I love this one. This game is so awesome. If you haven't already got it, you need to think about getting it. You really, really do, because it is a lot of fun indeed. Okay, let's go and assign that one for the moment. I am really looking forward to boosting on the build-up upgrade. It's just taken me a long time to get that one done, and then that one as well. Rebuilding my resources back up uh, with what I can do now is my next feature, but we'll do that later. So, very happy. Right, shop. Now, there's some deco time offers if you want to spend some money within the game to get those pieces. There's the usual items for free if you're so inclined to get those, of course. You can refresh this for 10 gems if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that one for the moment. Uh, so we slide on down, uh, you can see that there's other items you can purchase as normal, and there's tonics as well. And you'll see that the whole menu has now changed, which is good for me, so it makes it much easier. So it's a very much of a, a user interface change. If I go to the next one where the gems, I still haven't bought the gem down there, so I've got to do that at some stage. Invite a friend is very different, and I love the character on that one. I'd love a plushie that looked like that. So, Everdale, my friend Nick, whenever you get the chance, send me some plushies. Yeah. Uh, 12,000 yen. Ay, 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 that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay, decorations. Now, this is what I wanted to get. There's a tea party bundle. 19 brand new decorations for 300 of the actual gems. And I've got 323 down there. There's the usual pets down there. They've not changed. Uh, the new deco system has changed, so you can slide along now and you can see them much more conveniently placed within the actual setup itself, so I like this a lot. Uh, and you can see down there the kind of flowers, the path pieces, you've got fences down there as well. There's the greenery if you want to buy more. Uh, you've got the structures down there as well. Very nice indeed. I, I think this is a much better layout, I really, really do. Um, now, what would be nice, and I think would be a great change, is to actually have a little number that tells you in the corner how many of those you already own. So, if I were to, let's just say, look at one of these and click on them, it would like tell me that information so I could see if I want to buy more or not. And the same with the outfits. There's a lot of really cool outfits down there. Now, I own a lot of outfits, but uh, again, there's no indication on which ones I've purchased or not purchased. Skin-wise, okay, you see some brand new house designs down there. Like, look at that green one there. <gasps> Wonderful indeed. Indeed, I want that. And there's the same with the moon gate as well. I need 600 of those. But for the moment, the key thing for me is the bundle. So I want to get that one. So there's a tea party bundle. This one includes a tea party lamp, tea party tables. There's the tea party chair. There's the cake rack, tea party flower stands, tiles, cart down there, rustic tiles as well, and cream. And that's only 300 of the actual design gems. So, there we go. Now, they've gone to the storage, which is fantastic. And I can start purchase or designing with that later. Now, for the other decoration, I'm going to skip on that for the moment. Wait till I build up my resources. I want both of these two pieces down there. So, I'd love to get that one. So, deco gems I don't have. Uh, I could use my actual diamonds if I wanted to. That would work. Hmm, should I do it or not, I wonder. Or I could go with this one down here and use the gems and the diamonds. Mm, difficult decision. Difficult decision. <gasps> what to do, what to do, what to do. But you know, I'm going to hold off for the moment. So I think that's good enough. Now that new decoration has gone down into my storage. And if I slide on down... You should see it there with all of the other beautiful pieces that I've got. So, I think later I need to come back and do a redesign. 
Now, as I mentioned earlier, there were some changes on the reputation road, and it basically took me back a little bit further within the road, and it started showing me like some of the event tokens and other pieces that have been added into the game. Uh, there's can, a few of these tokens and levels that have been added, allowing you to do a little bit more within the game. So I'm pleased on that side. They've got some chests as well, which is very nice. Yeah, it's a shame there's nothing else that needs to be opened, otherwise I could get some more resources. But then again, I don't want to go back to the very beginning, so who does that? It was fun, though. Right, I I like, I really, really do like. I've got a lot more work to do within my actual game itself. Yeah, once I've leveled up and done a little bit more, then I can start producing some more goods. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually making things and storing things in my storage, which will be a little bit later. Uh, you can see what I have got down there versus what I don't have yet, so there's a lot more work to be done. Yeah, and I'm enjoying it. I really, really, really am. So, Everdell, fantastic game. Keep these changes coming. Uh, they are definitely very pleasing indeed. Right, now, I've started this event with some people, so that is good. Uh, what else do I need to do within my game? There's a boat down there. Let's go get rid of some of the apples on this one. We do the blocks as well. Get that donated. We do some of those as well, since I've got the resources. i got some fish down there. we got some pies down there. we got some of the honey pots. We can do some of the trousers. We can do some of the teddy bears. And that's it for the moment. Oh no, let's go get some pies on the go. So, can't do apple pies, I need wheat. <gasps> oh, did you see that? Oh, look at that chocolate lava cake. Oh, I want that chocolate mousse too. Oh my god, lovely. Uh, feed me, please just feed me. Yes, there we go, lovely. <sighs> more food, more food. Let's have a look at the toy shop. There was new items there too. There's the fancy doll. There's the wind-up Winston. Bet he needs metal, doesn't he? But, um, yes. Let's go get some more of the dyes on the game. Get the blue ones back again. And I need to start making the others as well. Need more fish, so we're still good there. We need sugar, no, we're good there too. We need some wheat. I definitely think we need some wheat in there. Do you know what? I'm going to send you down there. And I'm going to send you down there too. And that's basically assigned all of my villagers out to tasks. So I'm happy with that. Yep, 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 yep. I'm afraid we failed the daisy slingshot. Yeah, there were a lot of things down there still to be done, and we couldn't quite get it done. So like I said, if you would like to join the team, let me know. We are looking for new people. Yeah, we've got a nice uh, group of people here within the team. They do try very hard, but uh, some more support would be fantastic. It would definitely allow us to progress much faster. And as you can see at the moment, we've got five, three slots down there. So come on over and join if you would like to. All right. That's me. I'm going to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, the update looks very cool indeed. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please download it and enjoy playing. And Everdell, oh yes, I like it a lot. But either way, bye now.